Good afternoon, this is Kylan Hurt, aka Captain Crypto, front end developer at Edge. As of Edge release 1.1.2, our Edge mobile cryptocurrency wallet allows users to easily add tracking of their favorite custom ERC20 tokens via QR code. In this video, we are going to go over the process of creating a QR code for your custom tokens. The first step is to go to www.qr-code-generator.com or any other website like that that lets you generate QR codes. If you take a look into the description of this video, you can find some sample text that you can insert into the blank website field. It says website, but our code should actually work in this field because our QR code is going to follow a similar URI pattern as a website. So go ahead to the video description and insert that sample code. It should have some EOS related data in there. If one of the sample codes doesn't work, then go ahead and try the other one. The only difference is whether there's a token or token underscore info. So if we look at the sample code, we can identify several individual parts. The first part is the Ethereum colon. That simply tells us which protocol we're going to be interacting with. Since these are ERC20 tokens or Ethereum based tokens, then it makes sense for Ethereum to be the protocol. This part, the token or token underscore info, tells our application what kind of information is being conveyed here. After the dash, we have this long string that is the Ethereum address. I should clarify here that this is the contract address for the token. So this is not the user's individual Ethereum address. For the most part, these contract addresses should be publicly verifiable. So once we get to the question mark after the contract address, everything after that is actually optional. The more of these optional parameters that you fill out though, the less the user will have to enter themselves. So first up we have is symbol. So in my example, since this is EOS, EOS is the symbol. The next parameter after the ampersand is decimals. That's simply how many decimal places this token is supposed to have. This should also be publicly verifiable information. Then after that is the name. In this case, EOS happens to have the same name as it does token. Once you go through this sample code and replace the EOS information with the information for your own custom Ethereum token, then go ahead and press the green create QR code button. You'll see off to the right that a new QR code will be generated. In our next video, we'll show you how your users can utilize Edge Wallet in order to scan this barcode and add the tracking of this token to their Ethereum wallets.